Only on Way 31, we are pulling back the curtain on the top secret negotiations taking place right now to bring a major new industrial development to eastern Madison County. Our I-team confirming through multiple sources the development in the works could bring upwards of 3,000 new jobs to the county. But neighbors are already forming grassroots opposition. Way 31's Matt Kroschel breaking this story for you. And Matt, you've learned the location for this development is strategic. Existing rail lines are already in place. And Dan, technically this is Madison County, just down 72 from Madison County High School. Farmland that could soon be transformed into a massive industrial area. The top secret maneuverings happening behind closed doors. The rail lines would be key with the new rails potentially being added to serve this development. This lack of, the lack of transparency has been a real problem for everybody out here. Keith Dye calls Salty Bottom Road home sweet home. Multi-generational farms out through the area here. You have many people that are third, fourth generation farmers. Large tracts of prime farmland that could go away if developers get their way. Uh, cloak and dagger all the way through. Uh, only two people have been approached that we know of. We feel like that we're uh, being subjected to um, industrial growth without any announcement or any, any input whatsoever. City of Huntsville, Madison County, business development officials and developer John Hayes, who already owns a tract of land in the area, all refused to comment when I reached out. No one has any specifics because nobody's talking to us. When you say nobody, what do you mean? No government official, no developer, no railroad official, no one. While residents continue to push for concrete answers, multiple sources with knowledge of the secret deal in the works tell me this project would be a quote game changer, bringing in potentially 3,000 new high paying jobs with salaries ranging from 50 to $100,000 a year. So from where we sit right now, it's kind of that direction, right? It's gonna be basically behind that house. All, you came up and you saw the pine trees down through here, right? All oh, that's that developer that you're talking about. He owns that property. While Western Madison County and sections of now annexed Limestone County have seen an explosion of large scale manufacturing over the years, Eastern Madison County is wide open for now. Everybody has told me they're vehemently opposed to any type of industrial expansion in this area. The town of Gurley doesn't have the financial resources to annex the area. Likely, if it goes through, Huntsville could step in. No, no one in, in this area wants to be annexed into the city of Huntsville. This is a county farming community and they don't want to be annexed into the city of Huntsville. No one is saying who the potential tenant would be for this site just yet, but we do know if the city of Huntsville were to get involved in this project, city council would have to approve any economic incentives. The neighbors I spoke with for this story say they are meeting later tonight to work on language for a petition opposing any annexation by Huntsville and any of this type of development in their backyards. We'll, of course, keep working on our sources to learn more about the specifics on the type of manufacturing that could be headed this way. For now, live in the studio, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.